The WA Fisheries Minister has conceded it's time to reassess where the great whites should be protected. The call comes after 24-year-old Ben Linden became the state's fifth shark attack victim in only 10 months on Saturday. Now, he was tragically killed by a four to five metre white pointer while surfing at Wedge Island, about 160 kilometres from Perth. It sparked calls from sections of the public to begin a culling program, but opinions remain divided amongst the local surfing community. Community. To give us some perspective on this divisive issue, we're joined by shark expert Michael Brown from Surfwatch Australia. Michael, good morning to you. Morning, sir. Does this number of attacks, it does seem to be more than usual, um, justify culling the great white? Well, look, I, I don't think that, that culling sharks would be particularly effective. To give you an example, a, a great white shark that was off Perth today could be off uh, Margaret River tomorrow, and then it could be in South Australian waters, you know, two weeks from now. So to go out sort of off Perth or, or Margaret River, River, etc., and start culling sharks. Uh, you know, I don't think it's going to have a, a big impact on, um, on on safety. Okay, but we've seen five attacks in just ten months mm -hmm. off WA's coastline. Um, is that just pure coincidence? Well, look, back in two thousand and nine, we had a, a huge spike in attacks off off New South Wales. Um, you know, we've had quite a few attacks off off WA, especially in the last six months or so. I think a lot has to do with with conditions at the time. This shark that attacked over in WA was a particularly large shark. Mm -hmm. And large sharks tend to be following whale migration. So, you know, I would say that all things being equal, I'd say this shark was, was probably following whale pods down. It was probably in a, in a feeding mode at the time. And unfortunately, um, you know, Benjamin was in the, the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I think that, that actually going out culling sharks is, is probably a waste of time. We see the shark nets here in New South Wales and they're not particularly effective. They, they have a huge toll on, on dolphins and other marine life, etc. Um, and they don't really reduce the numbers of attacks. I think that taking a, a more common sense approach to, um, to protecting yourself in the water would probably go a lot further. Well, well, surfers and divers, you know, are, are the ones, unfortunately, usually attacked. What else can people like that do to minimise these attacks? Because when you go into the ocean, you're going into their home, aren't you? Well, you are, but I think that understanding the way the sharks work, and, and particularly the way sharks are feeding, will probably go a long way to protecting yourself. For example, smaller sharks, um, say up to about two and a half metres, they're, they're following bait fish. Um, so, look, if you go down to the beach and you see birds striking the water, you can see bait fish out in the water. It's probably a, a fair, um, probably a fair assessment that there are going to be sharks or some sort of feeding activity. When it comes to the larger sharks they tend to follow the whale migration. So if you go down to the beach and there are whales in the area, you, you've got to assess that there, there probably are larger sharks that are following those whales, and therefore that, that's a much higher risk as well. Mm, OK. Um, do you ever see an end to this de debate? Because half the people say, cull them, there's too many of them, this is not on. Mm -hmm. And, every, you know, I mean, you're not going to teach all the other sharks a lesson, are you, by culling them? Uh, no. Look, as I say, I don't think the culling's going to have a, a, a particularly large impact on, on sharks. I think this debate will will continue to rage. I mean, look, the fact is that commercial fishing are, are killing tens of millions of sharks every single year. So going out and, and killing a few more or culling a few more, I don't think it's going to have that big an impact. I think that, um, you know, everyone is, is particularly scared of, of sharks. You really do need to be in the, in the wrong place at the wrong time to become a victim. But um, as I say, just showing a little bit of common sense, being aware of the conditions, whether there are bait fish in the area or whales in the area, you know, I think that that's probably one of the, the single best ways of, of minimising the risk. Yeah, OK. Michael Brown, always good to see you. Thank you for that. My pleasure.